this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the single most important piece of equipment on your Raspberry Pi 3, which is a keyboard. When you first start up RetroPie, you're not going to have any game pads. It's going to say no game pads detected. And you're really going to want a keyboard because you need a keyboard to get around and do some configurations and stuff like that. You need that, believe it or not, even more so than the game controller because you need to have functionality of a keyboard to connect to the Wi-Fi and do other things like that. So when you see this screen, and you should already have your keyboard hooked up, you just push any button on your keyboard and the word keyboard will come up. So, for D-pad up, I use the up button on my keyboard, D-pad down, the down button, D-pad left, the left button, D-pad right, the right button, and when I say button, I mean the arrows on your keyboard. For the start button, I generally use the enter button, and for the select button, I generally use the space bar. For A, I use the A button, the actual A button on the, on the keyboard. For B, I use B. For X, I use X. For Y, I use Y. And then for the left shoulder, I'll use the one button. The right shoulder, the two button. The left trigger, I'll use the three button. The right trigger, I'll use the four button. The left thumb, I'll use the five button. And for the right thumb, I'll use the six button. Now you don't have any analogs on the keyboard, obviously. So if you just hold two keys, like the one and the two key at the same time, it'll skip that and say non not defined. And you just keep doing this for all the analog buttons. And it'll keep skipping them not analog buttons, but analog directions. Now here comes the tricky one, the hotkey enable. You can press anything you want here other than the ones you've already pressed. I generally just don't define it, and I'll show you why. So I push one and two to not define it, and then I hit OK. And now it's going to give you this ish, this message about not choosing a hotkey enable button. Basically, um, if you use your select button and then your start button at the same time while you're playing games, you can exit out. Your select button is a hot button if you use this setup and you answer yes. So you use select plus other buttons on your controllers to activate certain features within RetroPie. I just stick with using the select button. I don't have a hot key. A lot of controllers don't have an extra key to dedicate as a hot button key anyway because you'll lose some functionality. So I just say yes and we're in. So you've got a keyboard. You can do all the stuff that you need to do with um, RetroPie with your keyboard. And if you ever have a controller that has a bad configuration when you go to configure it, um, you always have your keyboard as a backup to get around and to get back into the configuration menu and fix your controller. And that is super important. And that's why the keyboard is the most important thing you can possibly set up with RetroPie. Now, if you set up your controller first and then decide you want a keyboard later, you can hit the start button on your controller, whatever you configured it to be, and go to this main menu. And then after you go to this main menu, you can go down to configure input, and it'll ask you if you're sure you want to configure input. And then you do the exact same thing that I did earlier. You hold down a button on the keyboard, and the keyboard will come up on the screen as a word and then you just configure the buttons the exact same way. I'm not going to do it twice for the redundancy of this video but after you do that your keyboard will be set up along with your controller and your controller will be controller one or whatever controller it's 
going to be if you've got two controllers or three controllers or whatever hooked up to your system that your keyboard is not going to count as a controller so you'll always have it as a backup this is super super important I can't stress this enough that's why when I make a system for somebody else I always make sure the keyboard is configured so I'm just going to hit escape to cancel because I don't want to uh, burden you with watching that all over again. But that's pretty much it. That's how you set your keyboard up. Um, you can bind it to whatever keys you want, but if you pick the ones that I picked, it makes sense logically. Uh, and that's all I've got. Thanks for watching.